Hey, it's Jones Laughlin. Welcome to Insights from the Jones Zone, where I give you a way to master your week in three minutes or less. It's been a difficult couple weeks around the Laughlin household. Uh, my 15-year-old daughter, Sydney, uh, lost her best friend a completely unexpected death. Uh, this young lady, Alicia Greer, was also one of my wife's students, so it's been especially tough uh, to watch both my daughter and my wife, along with so many others, grieve the loss of this amazing person. Uh, as I've talked about this experience with uh, those in the workplace, it's interesting how many people have told me how uncomfortable they are uh, with talking about and helping others work through grief in the workplace, because when we're uncomfortable, we avoid a situation. So I interviewed several people who've had recent loss or maybe even loss in the past and, and asked them what was helpful in the workplace for them to help manage this grieving process and get back to more of a, a normal routine as they experience this loss. And I, I heard three things really often. Number one was they wanted people to be present. You know, when someone's suffering loss, they think, oh, well, they need their space, they need their time. And that's true. But sometimes what they need is just to know that somebody is there with them and checking in on them and, and supporting and encouraging them. So being present with them and being willing to be uncomfortable with them. That if they're crying or they're not talking, that it's okay just to sit there in silence and be present with them. Secondly, is to acknowledge the loss. Um, you know, we think, well, I don't want to bring up that person's name or talk about the grieving process. And uh, you may get that signal from someone, but more often than not, what I heard from people is it's okay to talk about the person I've lost because I want to talk about them because they were important to me. And even if you didn't know who the person was or you didn't know them personally, uh, there's always something you can say to be of support and encouragement. For example, if um, someone I don't you know, know who passed away, but I know their son or daughter, I might say to them, you know what, I didn't know your mom or dad but I know you and you're an amazing person, so they must have been pretty incredible too. Uh, but acknowledge the loss or acknowledge the loved one who's been lost, I think is so important. That's what I heard from others. Finally, it's not just enough to be present and to acknowledge the loss, but do something. Um, do something to show that person that you care. I know when my mom passed away, I had a, an email from a friend in Arizona who said, you know what, Jones, when I heard your mom passed away, I made a donation to the Alzheimer's Society or the Alzheimer's Association. That meant so much to me because as my mom suffered through Alzheimer's, I thought, hey, you know, their, their donation could help someone else. It's not the size of the gift or the size of what you do. It's just showing, you know what, I care enough to take some time out of my busy schedule to show you that you're important. So do something. Uh, most importantly, help them carry that elephant of grief. I love what Megan Devine said when she wrote, Some things cannot be fixed. They must be carried. Uh, this is Jones Loff, and I hope it's a fantastic week for you where if there is someone around you grieving, that you help them carry that burden of grief. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today in the Jones Zone.